Hi, I'm David, and I'm going to show you how to build your own Spider-Man web shooters. You can build your own Spider-Man web shooters using some simple everyday objects from around the house or from a hardware store. We spent less than $20 to build this web shooter. You will need a wristwatch, super glue, an old belt, a black plastic spoon, a red plastic circle, a coax RG6 crimp on connector, velcro squares, scissors, to make the red plastic circle, take a piece of red packaging plastic. Measure and cut the right size circle according to the size of the watch, and then cut it into a circle. Remove the back of the watch and its components. Place in the red circle. Put back the components and reattach the back. Glue on the coax connector which works as a webbing spray nozzle. Cut the belt into a properly shaped leather cuff. Measured appropriately around your wrist. Attach Velcro to the leather cuff. Cut and trim the spoon into the length you need for your wrist. It will be your pressure plate to activate the webbing. Attach your plastic pressure spoon to the fastened cuff. Secure and attach the watch with the Velcro onto the leather cuff firmly. Now, if you really want your device to be authentic, you can hook up an Oscorp microprocessor and program it just like Peter Parker did. Then order some Oscorp bio cable, made from spiders. Inject the webbing capsules accordingly, and you've got a real live working Spider-Man web shooter. Now that you've built your web shooter, it's time to test it out. Works pretty good. So that's the Spider-Man web shooter. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click to subscribe to Super Comic Fun Time for more superhero content.